Erica Anderson, be bad first, get good at things fast to stay ready for the future. In the fast-paced world of constant change and rapidly advancing technology, adaptability is essential. In the book Be Bad First, Get Good at Things Fast to Stay Ready for the Future, author Erica Anderson guides readers on how to engage in lifelong learning and embrace the discomfort of trying something new, knowing full well that they will be bad at it first. Along the way, you will discover the ANEW model, which includes aspiration, neutral self-awareness, endless curiosity, and willingness to be bad first, as four vital skills for effectively mastering new challenges. Delve into the stories of empower learners like Michelangelo, Albert Einstein, and Steve Jobs, and learn strategies to bolster your desire, curiosity and dedication when acquiring new skills. Embrace Beginnerhood The book emphasizes the need for continuous learning in today's ever-evolving job market. It highlights the importance of overcoming the fear of being a novice and embracing the discomfort that comes with learning something new. The author expands on the self-determination theory and explains how mastery, autonomy, and purpose are the three drivers of human behavior. The debunked theory of human learning that claimed people had a finite number of brain cells has been proven wrong, as the human brain has a lifelong capacity for learning. The ANEW Model of Mastery The ANEW Model of Mastery identifies the four skills of power learners such as Michelangelo, Einstein, Curie, and Jobs, aspiration, neutral self-awareness, endless curiosity, and willingness to be bad first. The model emphasizes the critical nature of curiosity in acquiring new knowledge and skills. Michelangelo's project to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel exemplifies how tapping into one's curiosity can motivate one to acquire new knowledge and skills. The ANU model's neutral self-awareness skill highlights the importance of having an objective assessment of one's current skills and experience before embarking on a new learning journey. The model's willingness to be bad first skill emphasizes having the courage to accept that one may not be perfect at first and leveraging experiences to learn from mistakes and improve. The Power of True Aspiration When you accurately gauge your level of desire toward something, it can push you towards your goals. Most people choose the easiest option when learning something new, but taking on challenges outside of your comfort zone is vital to keep pace with the world's changing trends. In Ron's example, being resistant to res killing in his job might lead to unemployment, but by finding the aspiration to learn, he can succeed. Igniting Passion for New Skills To overcome your resistance to learning new skills, activate your aspiration muscles by envisioning the future benefits of competency and the knowledge or skill you may possess. Identifying what motivates you allows you to gain insights into the benefits you deem most valuable. This will help you envision a future in which you've attained mastery in a new area using a four-step process that includes selecting a realistic time frame for success and describing specific success factors. Focus on the one or two benefits that ignite your passion and motivation to establish excitement and drive toward your new skill. The Power of Self-Awareness The book talks about how self-awareness is crucial for self-improvement. The American Idol Syndrome is quite common where people tend to overestimate their abilities. It leads to faulty self-assessment preventing individuals from taking the necessary steps for improvement. The book states that acknowledging one's weaknesses is the first step towards improvement. It highlights the story of Adam Stotsky, who worked on his flaws with the help of his executive coach. To improve objectively, the book suggests three steps, manage your self-talk, become your own fair witness, and invite good sources. The first step focuses on managing one's internal monologue, the second on being neutral and accurate about oneself, and the third on seeking constructive feedback from trusted sources. The book stresses the importance of self-awareness and encourages individuals to develop the habit of reflecting and assessing oneself to improve continuously. Reignite Your Curiosity the book highlights how adults can reignite their curiosity by identifying their interests, managing self-talk, and making curiosity a daily practice. The author suggests identifying sparks of curiosity and applying them to areas of life one has been reluctant to enter. 
Eradicate negative words and phrases from the inner monologue and replace them with productive self-talk. Endless curiosity served Deborah Ternus well as the president of NBC News. She modeled curiosity, asked questions, and listened intently to answers leading to innovative ideas. The author recommends crafting a personal curiosity match as a piece of self-talk to ignite curiosity. Embracing Noviceship The constant changes in today's environment require individuals to relearn and upskill continuously, making noviceship crucial. The Marshmallow Challenge highlights how kindergartners excel as perpetual novices. Embracing this means accepting being a beginner, practicing, and finding connections between existing skills and the new challenge. Shifting one's internal narrative from disparaging to accepting and exciting provides mental clarity and positive feelings. One can bridge existing skills and learn new ones. Embracing noviceship is key to stay employable and improve one's expertise. Anderson's Be Bad First encourages readers to embrace the inevitable initial awkwardness and imperfection when learning new skills, by imparting the importance of constant learning in a rapidly evolving world. By following the new model, consisting of aspiration, neutral self-awareness, endless curiosity, and willingness to be bad first, readers can equip themselves with the necessary tools to adapt and grow both professionally and personally. This way, they can better overcome mental resistance and develop the requisite mindset to approach daunting challenges and new skills with enthusiasm and curiosity. Remember, as Michelangelo once said, Ancora impero, I am still learning. <laughs>